Next week, can we debate who is the creator? We say Allah is the creator. Is he a creator, the trying God, Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost? Did Jesus create anything? No, you can't find. The Bible is there. You see? If Jesus is God, you want them to show us a single verse in the Bible why Jesus said he created anything. You see, they're, they're packing now. Next week, inshallah, I'll come. And hopefully, she will uh, pluck up the courage to debate with me. And inshallah, I will uh, expose her as a charlatan, as a hate preacher, or someone who doesn't call for the Bible. All the verses you can see, all the debates, videos about attacking Islam. Nothing else. There is nothing there. You see, it's going now. All the cameras are going now. See, they're all looking at me. Yes, I'm Mohammed Lamin. Come here to expose the DCCI charlatans. Uh, this is DCCI stands for defend Christ, critique Islam. So all they do come here to critique, to criticize Islam. That's all they can do. When I say let's go to the scriptures, they can't, you see, talking about the wonders of God, they cannot debate. Bob runs away from me. Hartun, you can see. When I come to Hartun, chicken hearted wimps. You see, who's that? Oh, yeah. Sorry? Yeah. My comments are. I'm independent, sir. You are independent. Okay, so, yeah, so as I said, Hartun, next week, or you're going next week, tell her to debate with me and stop lying. Coming, attacking Islam, we know she's getting paid. She cannot debate. She hasn't studied the Bible. Not attacking nothing. If I say next week, let's debate, she cannot debate. I'll expose her. They all run away from me like chicken hearted wimps. When I come here, alhamdulillah, fully prepared to expose their lies. Yeah, they only lie, they only attack. Now the debate was, ah, uh, you know, you know, the, you know, you're, you know, debating with the lady here, Muslim lady, you know, the, you, you know, Quran says that you, you know, a man can beat, man can beat the wife if the wife refuses to have intimacy with her. You see, they have got another, yeah, come, is lying, it's all like, go, she's a liar, she can't debate. Next week, I can debate. No, what would you do? All the attack here, you can't go. All she go to the pub. All she does is attack. That's it. Are they wrong? That said Islam, that, that, the, that the Muslims can beat their wives. What a lie. She can't debate. Next Sunday, tell her to come and debate with me. I'll expose her. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. They can't can debate. I say, want to know who's the creator. I can go to the Quran and quote extensively, inshallah, from the Quran that Allah SWT is the creator of everything. That's the verse in the Quran. What can they do with the Bible? Can they quote a single verse in the Bible? Why they are trying God said he created anything. A single verse in the Bible, why Jesus said he created anything. Not, not a single verse in the Bible. Why Jesus says he created anything. But yet they said he's the almighty God. He's the creator. The other day, I was at uh, Brixton, South London. I was passing by and I saw my African uh, brother in humanity, a Christian pastor, Nigerian. Jesus created, he's the creator. He created not only the Christians, he created the Jews and he created the Muslims. I said, what are you talking about? Show me a single verse in the Bible why Jesus says he created it. He can't do anything. If you read the Bible, creator, who is the creator in the Bible? Even in your Bible, in your Bible, in the Quran, if you read the God's Quran, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah uh, Al-Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number, uh, 117 says, He, Allah, is the originator of the heavens and the earth. When he decrees the matter, he only says to it, Be and it is kum fayakun. Seven verse in the Quran. In the, furthermore, in the Golden Quran, in Surah as sajda chapter number 32, verse number 4 says that, He, Allah, is the creator of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is in between them in six days, then he established himself above the throne. You have not besides him any any helper or supporter. Will you then believe? Furthermore, in the Golden Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al An'am, chapter number six, verse number one says that it said, "Alhamdulillahi lazi kalakat samawati wa alda wa jala zulmati wa nur summa lazi na kafro biyam birabim yadilun." Said, "All praise and thanks are Allah's who created the heavens and the earth and originated the darkness and the light. Yet those who disbelieve." Hold others as equal with their Lord. Several verses of the Quran, Allah said He's the Creator, but they cannot do that with their trying God in the Bible. Furthermore, in the Golden Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al Anbiya, chapter number 21, verse number 33, says that He, Allah, He's the Creator, 
of the night and the day and the sun and the moon, each swimming in their orbit. For the, in the, in the Quran, several verses in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 32, Allah is the creator of the heavens and the earth. In Surah Dariyat, chapter 51, verse number 56 says that, Allah said he has that, and I have not created the jinns and mankind except that they should worship me alone. Several verses in the Quran, Allah is emphasizing to mankind that he's the creator. But in the Bible, they can do that. There is not a single verse in the Bible where Jesus said in any way, shape or form, he's a creator or created anything. But they believe that Jesus is almighty God. They believe the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost were involved in the creation. Let's go to the Bible now. If you read your Bible, most Christians have read their Bible. Several verses in the Bible, in the Old Testament, is telling the Almighty God, the one Lord, the God of the Israelites, is the creator of everything. No trinity in the Old Testament. You read the Bible, Almighty God himself said he's the creator. This is mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 44, verse number 24. God said, I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who spread the earth by myself. This is emphatic. I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who spread the earth by myself. I'm asking, which God is that? Is that your trying God? No. Furthermore, in the Bible, the first verse of the Bible, Genesis 1 1. In the book of Genesis, chapter number 1, verse number 1. It says that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Which God is that? Are you telling me that this is a Trinity God? When Moses went to the children of Israel and said that, that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Is it Trinity? No. The God of the, uh, the Israelites, the God of all the, the prophets in the Bible is one Lord who created everything without any partner. Found over in the Bible, it is mentioned in... Um, because in, in uh, the book of Isaiah, again, chapter number 45, verse number 18, says that, for this is what the Lord said, for this is what the Lord says, he who created heavens, he is God, he who, he who fashioned and made the earth, he founded it. He did not create it to be empty, but formed it to be, to be inhabited. He says, I am the Lord and there is no other. This is God in the Old Testament. He is the only one Lord created everything. Furthermore, in your Bible, in the New Testament, Jesus himself said that the Father is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, the creator of the heavens and the earth. So how did Jesus become God, the creator? You read that in the Gospel of uh, Matthew, chapter number 11, verse number 25. It says, at that time, at that time, Jesus said, Father, I praise you, Lord of the heavens and the earth. So the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, who is the Lord of the heavens, heavens, and the heavens and the earth, according to Jesus, is the Father. But you are telling us that Jesus is the Creator. Can I be clear proof, my brothers and sisters, that Almighty God is one Lord. He created everything without any partner. There is not a single verse in the Bible why Jesus said He created anything. Not there. He cannot be the Creator. Several verses. Also, in the Bible, several verses, you know, similar message repeated in, uh, in the book of uh, uh, Proverbs, chapter, uh, chapter 3, verse number 19. Almighty God is the creator in uh, Jeremiah, chapter number 32, verse number 17, says, Almighty God is the creator. Several verses in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 10. Verse number 14, Almighty God is the creator. In the book of Nehemiah, chapter number 9, verse number 6, Almighty God, the God of the Israelites, is the creator of everything. The Trinity is a fabrication, it's a concoction. Jesus never said he's God, never said worship me. There's not a single verse in the Bible why Jesus said he is God, why he said worship me. So he's not, he cannot be the creator, as I said, not a single verse. I came today, Alhamdulillah, fully prepared, to have a debate with one of them about this uh, uh, topic, about who is the creator. But they all run away from me like chicken hearted whips because they know I'll expose them. They cannot, apart from uh, John 1.10 and uh, Colossians 1.16, which says that everything was 
created by him. But in the Revised Standard Version and NIV, they took them out. Nothing was created by Jesus. You can see so many by here. So you can see that. Sorry. Thank you. So that verse that we quote, they were quoting, is in the. I'm going to say. It's in the. There. You find those verses in the King James Version. But they took them out. Took them out from the Revised Standard Version and the NIV. There's not a single verse in these verse, in these books, which says that Jesus is the Creator. Everything was created by Him. But they will quote those verses from there. But I said to them, I want you to quote a verse, a word of Jesus. Quote to me a verse from the Bible where Jesus said He created anything. No. And all the miracles that Jesus performed, who was doing it? God was doing it. And around the, uh, one of the Christian preachers said, Jesus uh, healed the blind, he performed miracles, <laughs> raised the dead. I said, how did he do it then? Because he must be God. If Jesus can raise Lazarus from the dead, he must be God. I said, God was doing it because if you read your Bible, it seems as if you haven't read your Bible. Jesus himself, John 5, 30 said, I can of myself do nothing as I hear a judge and my judgment is just because I seek not of my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Furthermore, in the Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22 to 23, there Peter with the disciples went to the crowd. That is, after Jesus left this world, after Jesus left this world, he went to the crowd to address them, to tell them who Jesus was. He said, O men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God. A man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs, which God did through him and your witness to it. So what did the job? God was doing it, not Jesus. You see, what we are doing, we're inviting you to the religion of all the prophets, which is Islam. Islam simply means submitting one's will to Almighty God, to, to worship Almighty God the Creator and do not associate any person to him. One word for that in Arabic is Islam. Yeah, people think it's only say Islam, you know, because Islam is grossly misrepresented by the media. So when people say Islam, they've got all these misconceptions going to their head. All the prophets were Muslims. Jesus and all the prophets in the Bible were Muslims. They all submitted their will to Almighty God. They did not associate any partners to him, including Jesus. When Jesus said, my father, Jesus, and I, what does that mean? You said they are equal. You said Jesus and Almighty God are co-equal, co-eternal. Jesus said, my father is greater than I. John 14, 28, my father, what does that mean? Huh? And the Bible said the, the head of Christ is what? The head of Christ is God. If the head of Christ is God, how can it be co-equal, co-eternal? We're just reasoning with you. The Bible said, you know, in the book of Isaiah 118, come and let us reason together. We're just reasoning with you. Yeah, Jesus was the Messiah, was the prophet sent to the children of Israel. Yeah, Prophet Muhammad, peace on him, is the last and final messenger sent to the whole of mankind. No prophet is come after me. He's the final, last and final messenger. The Quran is the last and final book, testament, revelation revealed to, to mankind. If you, if you read the Guru's Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Ibrahim, chapter 14, verse number 52. It says that this Quran it's a clear message for the whole of mankind. Let them take one in the from. Let them know that there is only one Allah, only one God, and let the men of understanding take heed. Follow in Guru's Quran. It is mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 185, says that Ramadan was a month in which the Holy Quran was revealed as a guidance for mankind. And clear proofs as the guidance and the criterion between right and wrong. Furthermore, in the Golden Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al Kalam, chapter number 68, verse number 52, says that, Omar huwa illa zikrili alamin. But it is nothing else but a message to mankind. Furthermore, in the Golden Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al Anbiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, says that, Omar arsal naka illa rahbatalil alamin. We have not sent you, O Muhammad, 
except as a mercy to mankind, not to the Arabs, not to the Muslims, for the whole of mankind. That is why I'm inviting you before it's too late. We are inviting you to the religion of all the prophets. Furthermore, in the glorious Quran, my, my African sister here will deal that disturbing in the background. If you read the glorious Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 158 says that in this verse, Surah Al Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 158, Allah is commanding. Prophet Muhammad to say to mankind, he said, say, O oh Muhammad, say to mankind, tell them, say, O oh mankind, verily, I am the messenger of Allah sent to you all, to whom belongs the dominions of the heavens and the earth. There is no day to accept him. He gives life and causes death. So believe in Allah and his messenger, the unlettered prophet who believes in Allah and his words, and follow him that you may be guided. So, Oh, every single person alive today should follow the last and final testament, the revelation, which was revealed to the last and final Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Jesus Christ, peace of him, was a Messiah sent to the children of Israel. He never said he's God, never, worship, never said worship me. And when Jesus left this world, I asked the Christian brethren, Christian brothers in humanity, what were the disciples preaching? After Jesus left this world, for 30 years, the disciples were preaching. Did they say anything in any way, shape, or form about Jesus being God? No. Did they say anything about Trinity? No. Did they say to the people to worship Jesus? No. no. Let's go to the verse. Allah quoted from the verse. Allah, no, my, not my opinion. This is mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 5, verse number 42. It says that day after day, from temple to temple and from house to house, there, that is the disciples, never stopped preaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Messiah, the Christ. We believe in that, the God incarnate. So I'm going to take this video, my brothers and sisters, two verses from the Bible. If you read the Bible, uh, two verses from the Quran to end this video. It is mentioned, if you read the Quran, God's Quran, it is mentioned. In Surah Al Maida, chapter 5, verse number 72, says that, like a kafar lazina kalu, in Allah, who will masjid Maryam, they are blaspheming, they are disbelieving, those who say that Isa, Jesus, the son of Maryam, the son of Mary, is Allah, is Almighty God. But said Christ, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi Warabakum, who is my Lord and your Lord. And your Lord. Inna huma yusruk billah. Verily, anyone who associates passes with Allah, fakar haram Allah alayhi jannah. Allah will make paradise forbidden for for that person. Huma hu nar, huma lizali min ansar. And the fire of hell will be that passes about, and he shall have no helpers in the after. My brother and sister, this is very serious. In the Bible, Jesus said, "What is that? Yeah, the God was it the God? In the Gospel of John, chapter number twenty seventeen, Jesus said to Mary Magdalene, "Touch me not." For I am not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Jesus had a God, he worshipped a God, he cried to the God. In the Bible, in the Gospel of, um, I said I was going to end this video with the Quran, two more verses from the Bible, and I go to the Quran again and end the video. In the Gospel of Luke, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 6, verse number 12, they said that, Luke 6, 12 says that Jesus went out to the mountain to pray. Jesus went out to the mountain side to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. I'm asking you, who was he praying to? Who was he praying to himself? No, he was praying to Almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. My brothers and sisters, so let me end this video with a quotation from God's Quran for Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse number 64. We're inviting you to Islam. The religion, all the pray, all the prophets. He said, "Cool, ya al kitab, say open the book, say oh Jews and Christians, talo ila kalimati sawa bena bena kum." That come to common terms as between us and you, Allah la muda illa Allah. That we worship none but Allah. Walla nusu kabi ishay au. That we associate no partners with Him. Walla yatik zo baari na baadan arba ba midulula. That we erect not from among ourselves lords or patrons around Allah. Fa inta Allah. 
But if they turn away, for Kulu Sadu, then bear witness. They are now Muslim, we are Muslims bound to Allah's will. Wa akra dawana, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.